Hi, welcome to Prestige Demo and PDM. My name is Jorge Zavala, Creative Director. Here with me today, I have... Ryan Johnson, Manager with D'Agostino's Pizza and Club. Awesome, thank you for joining us today. Where are we located? We're here at our Park Ridge location at 742 West Higgins. Awesome. How long has this particular location been around? We opened um, three years and about a month ago. Okay, awesome. So, with regards to D'Agostino's for maybe our um, non-Chicago viewers, tell us a little bit about the brand, the restaurant itself, kind of um, its origins, where it kind of came about, and maybe how it's developed over the years. Uh, D'Agostino's began in 1968 with our carryout location on Addison Street. Mm -hmm. um, we grew from a small storefront, no bigger than this room, wow. into the five locations that we have today. Um, downtown Chicago, uh, Glenview Park Bridge in Wheeling. The original owner would cook up the sauces at his mom's oh, really? kitchen, carry them down to the storefront, and then um, prepare everything out of it. Very small kitchen. Wow. As as the business grew, they annexed the stores next to it. One was a furniture store, and then a bar, and then a jewelry store, and uh, eventually just own the entire uh, corner of Southport and Addis. It's so crazy. I drive by there all the time. So the original location was essentially in the Chicago Wrigleyville community, mm -hmm. right? So tell us a little bit about the Wrigleyville community. Wrigleyville has really developed um, from. Uh, not the best area of Chicago to one of the most uh, hip and uh, fun places to be in Chicago. Home of the Chicago Cubs. Great team, great people, right? Uh, we're honored to work with the Cubs uh, as the official sponsor and uh, pizza provider for the Cubs. And, uh, Wrigley's uh, and very good to Dagestinos. We try and give back as much as we can. Definitely. So you mentioned kind of um, the origins of D'Agostino's in Wrigleyville, the, um, the first location, and kind of how the owner um, was making these like, special sauces, the original sauces from his, essentially his mom, mom's home, essentially mom's kitchen, right? Yeah. Do you remember? Oh, sorry, yeah, and, uh, and the same recipes exist today from our uh, marinara to our signature St. Crest Pizza sauce, yeah. so 45, 50 years ago. Wow, so it's a very, it's a very Chicago essence, essentially. So, do you remember the um, the original pizza, the original pizza toppings, what the pizza? They, they kept it pretty simple: a uh, few sauces, pepperoni, a few veggies. Um, they still have the original oven at Addis. It's still in use today. It's amazing how you know all these new new equipment breakdown with the. 45 year old pizza that is still running strong. Yes, we use it today. Be able to keep a little bit of the, the essence of the pizza in the history of it. Um, from your time with the company, you've been with the company for about three, three years, years now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so with that, this location in Park Ridge has been around about the same amount of time that you've been with the company, right? So tell us something that makes the Park Ridge D'Agostino location unique versus um, the other locations that you work with. You know, each restaurant. Uh, Really, it's its own individual, and, um, and we're proud to serve the different people as, as needed. Uh, what's been great about this location is uh, being so close to our hair airport. We have so many commuter um, uh, guests, uh, people just visiting Chicago, as well as families from around the neighborhood, as well as corporate businesses. Uh, we have a wonderful space here. We can accommodate parties to. 100 people. Uh, we have three private rooms here where we host your parties, uh, graduation, uh, wedding rehearsal venues. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything here. What makes um, kind of your role within the company uh, so unique? So I know that every Degasin has a strong kind of philosophy to working with the particular communities that they're located in. So I know here with the Park Ridge community, you mentioned that people, or in general, the the restaurants, people come in for different events, so wedding rehearsals, birthday parties, anniversaries, things like that. Um, can you think of any one in particular that maybe has stood out to you in the last few years? Anything that really just kind of said, hey, this is what, I'm, this is what I like about my job, this is what I'm really feeling? Well, a great part of uh, interacting with so many people is um, developing relationships mm -hmm. uh, beyond just the uh, business, work environment, and, um, 
I feel like the comic kind of fans are similar, I guess, you know, you know getting to know their lives and being part of it. Yeah. Going to graduation parties at their homes and hiring their kids to work for us. Oh, yeah. and, uh, we really anticipate being here for a while. You know, developing relationships with people is the best way to accomplish that. And it's so nice when you have um, a wide range of folks coming in and essentially not just enjoying the experience and enjoying the food. Like, I have students that I work with on a regular basis who are actually like, hey, I know that location that you've seen is it's like two blocks from my house. I walk with my friends. These are 12, 13 year olds. You establish not just clients in the future, but you establish that connection with the community that's always so important, not just on a business level, but on a personal level too. One thing we've done since our origin is sponsoring sports games yes, from all that. ages. Uh, Kids basketball teams, uh, adult softball teams. What, what that does for us beyond um, you know, bringing business to our location is getting our name out to the community, showing that you know, we're, we want to be part of this. Definitely. What um, communities, uh, what sports teams need those communities? We, we have a large delivery range. We go all the way, any, everywhere in Park Ridge, we go south uh, into the Norwich communities, uh, Niles, Des Plaines, Rosemont, Chicago. So, so all encompassing, and we try and help out as, as much as we can. Um, often throughout the year, we'll do uh, donate parties for benefit the most local church charities as well. Definitely, and Dagosinos with the help of wine was actually quite generous in donating a special piece for our very own Miss Chicago 2012 Mercy Bukai, as well as um, Miss Illinois Presence here um, a few weeks ago, which they mentioned that they love, they love the food, the quality, the service was amazing beyond belief. Um, Thank you. It's great coming into location, um, especially in your own community here enjoying good food, but the service is really that extra touch that really says, hey, I want to come back here, or hey, maybe, you know, we'll check out a different location, but the reality is, um, the young women, the, the folks who are helping us at night were really awesome. They cooperated, they asked what we needed, and that's something that I think that gives this particular location, in my heart, and also in the heart of the people that we work with, kind of like saying, hey, we're going to definitely come and check out this location we're offering. Part of the philosophy is, even though we're a pizza place, it doesn't have to feel like you're running the mill, right. pizza pop and get out of there. Yeah. You know, we, we really want to get to know you and um, want you coming back here and feeling welcome. And uh, I think that separates yeah. our location from what a lot of places do. Definitely. I think, uh, I mean, just in my experience, like growing up, I mean, I used to eat all kinds of pizza from all these different locations. Um, and something that I really love about this location is just the warmth factor. You come in and you're greeted, you are treated just, you're not treated like any other customer at this point. Mm -hmm. you, you have a place here, you are accommodated to whatever your taste buds want, whatever you're essentially trying to get that night. Um, with that, with customer kind of appreciation, working with different customers, what has been maybe like the craziest order or like the most out of the ordinary order that you can remember? You know, some things with dietary restrictions, you, you have to be very careful of that. Right. Um, you know, we we try and do our best to accommodate everyone, whether yeah. you're running over to Dominic's and getting a, a special ingredient. Uh, if, if you give us enough time to right. to accommodate your needs, we're, we're going to go above and beyond to try and do that for you. Um, as far as crazy orders, you know, People bring in their own ingredients and they ask to put them on. You know, that really doesn't affect us. What kind of ingredients? Uh, yeah. Tofu. Some, yeah, it's something allergen related. Or something <laughs> like that. It's like, you want it on there? So All right. <laughs> put it on. We'll put it on. That's so cool. Because it, and that's what I think makes Tagasinos unique and central because I don't see myself going into um, other establishments with my own ingredients or making a request and having that same flexibility, that same. Being, or even that comfort to say, hey, I, I want this kind of pizza, but I want this kind of cheese on it. I want this kind of um, ingredient on my sauce. And I think that's what really makes you guys stand out a lot. And I think it's really appreciated not just on a business level, but also on a, on a personal, personal level, because it's like, hey, you're going to respect my dietary needs, and I need to come back to that. It's such a great experience here. So that's definitely appreciated. Um, with regards to maybe any projects or any 
think you guys are kind of developing in the next few months? I know that baseball season is coming back. Um, any new things that are that we can wait for our Tagasinos? You know, we're excited to get back into Wrigley. Um, it's always the busiest time of the year for us um, at all locations over the summer months. Um, but some of the exciting things that we're looking to do in the next couple of months and even sooner, uh, we're introducing a gluten free menu here and then eventually company wide. Uh, so the gluten free one is that this is going to start here uh, within the next couple of weeks. Uh, we're working with Char Products, they're one of the leaders in uh, gluten free bread items. Uh, they developed a pizza base, so we're going to be able to offer a pizza, which will be 100% gluten-free. We have two kitchens here, and we'll devote this second kitchen to the gluten needs. Yeah. Um, have you already kind of developed or thought of the, the kinds of products you want to offer? Them? Yeah, we're going to be offering almost every one of our sandwiches on gluten-free bread, burgers. When you have a kitchen and grill and fire, all devoted that I mean people can get sick very quickly uh, from this so uh, having a kitchen that can accommodate that having certain plating materials uh, and equipment devoted to that to ensure customer safety and, and it's really a great product uh, off our standards it's gonna be really exciting uh, it's so hard for people uh, with that dietary restriction to find places that they can go to without the fear of getting sick and uh, we hope to be one of those leading in the area. That's awesome. So you heard it first here everyone in Park Ridge we're offering, we will be offering gluten-free items on the menu so. Some items are available now. We have uh, pasta, chicken tenders and the pizza uh, right now and then it'll be in there. Gluten-free chicken tenders will sound good. You can't go right. <laughs> you can't go right. So you gotta dip them in the right sauces, right? Exactly. Yeah, sounds good. Especially with summer right around the corner, spring right around the corner. Um, we're all looking forward to those uh, feel-good kind of foods, right? We're also going to be working uh, in the next month with one of our beer vendors hosting a beer event here at the Park Ridge location. We've done uh, a couple wine events in the past at Wrigleyville. Um, but we're excited to bring in uh, Tighthead Brewery okay. from Mandalay, Illinois, and, um, and showcase some of their uh, great offerings, as well as some appetizers and maybe a custom menu okay. to pair with the different uh, food items. Mm -hmm. That'll be a ticketed event. Hopefully, we'll have 70, 100 people wow. on our great heated patios. Oh, wow, nice. That sounds really exciting. Do you have a, a day to time to take it? Day to come, but probably uh, first Friday in March. Okay, so okay, so that's coming, coming up, up within the next month. Three feet. Yeah, that's exciting, very nice. So, good beer, good food, and good company. Yeah, it, right? it should be a lot of fun. Uh, we hope to get a lot of people out. And, uh, it's exciting. Chicago Land's really developing into one of the great craft beer areas, um, really, in the country. Um, giving the Californians a little run for their money. I know, with all those different custom beer, we have custom yeah, flavors we're going to. Yeah, get, get a little Midwestern flair going. So, uh, we, we look forward to highlighting a local company and local products and uh, really having a fun night. Yeah. Whoa. Well, hopefully, we'll be able to attend yeah. and come try some new beers. Yeah. Do you offer any of those custom or any locally food? Um, no. We do. Uh, we have uh, Tighthead's Scarlet Fire on draft right now. Um, that, that's rotational with some of the other beers from their series. Um, we have Half Acre Brewery from uh, Lincoln Avenue in Chicago, Ellington Square. Okay. Um, you know, we, we try and keep a few local beers, yeah. on, uh, especially with the commuter people coming from out of town. They want Chicago pizza, Chicago beer. Gotta give them that Chicago, give them the right? Chicago experience. Awesome. So I think that's actually really interesting because um, not only as a magazine, we really, as people, try to cater everything on the local level. We believe that like thinking locally, acting locally is really kind of the way of the future. Um, and what you guys are doing, I think that really stands out, whereas there's a lot of change in the Chicago area that are simply things you can go from one coast through the Midwest to the other coast and say it's the same thing. And I think that's something that really will make, well that makes DAGs like 
stand out, not just in the minds of the locals, but also in the minds of, like you mentioned, here in the Park Ridge community, the kind of passive buyers, like the business folk, the folks that are here kind of like, whether it's one night layover or a three-day business trip, it really gives it that like Chicago touch in kind of the, uh, the northwest side of the, of the city. Midwestern hospitality with great Chicago uh, products. You know, uh, each, each restaurant kind of customizes some of the things we offer beyond our, our set menu. Every Monday and Tuesday we do a uh, pizza salad bar buffet. Uh, that's great for business clients so people needing a quick lunch. We have custom menus uh, offering great new salads, paninis. Uh, we try and find what people like. We try and keep it fresh. You know, we've been around for 45 years now, and it's you know you want to keep to your origins, but also right. keep people excited about coming to your location. Definitely, like stick, like sticking true to um, to tradition, but also being able to accommodate to the diverse, essentially demographics that are coming to your locations. And I think that's ultimately what makes a business successful: being able to keep up with with um, essentially the old and being able to transition into like the new. Yeah. Um, any items in particular that have been quite popular in this location, the Park Ridge location? It's amazing. We have a Southwestern barbecue chicken salad. All our ingredients are fresh here, um, which gives us the opportunity to use a lot of the pizza ingredients and come up with some amazing things. Uh, we do a barbecue ranch dressing over um, with avocado, uh, grilled chicken, black beans, uh, wow. pepper, onion mix. Um, and it's by far the number one selling style. That here. sounds amazing. Beyond our uh, thin crust pizza, which we're known for with its uh, sweet, tangy sauce. Love the sauce. Uh, it's, I it think sends us out. The sauce, I think, I, I'm a big fan of cheese, but I think the sauce is just divine. Um, there's whatever you're going to use, whatever home you use, keep it up because it keeps me coming back. I'll keep it a secret. Yeah. I'll keep it up. Um, but it's, it's great to have the success that we've had at this location. We hope to continue that. And, um, you know, the new offerings of the group menu, uh, continuing to do more uh, public events with uh, the beer tasting, uh, just get people excited about yeah. the casinos and the things that we're doing here. Yeah, definitely. And as the weather gets warmer, people are definitely. Um, more willing, I feel like, ever to come out to essentially, especially, or even right now with the weather being tempered, quite tempered for winter that we're having. It's not horrible. It's a comfortable February that we're that we're dealing with more or less. People are coming out, people are drinking, people are eating, and you know, business is flourishing in a location that has a very strong um, component of like sticking to local 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 things. You know, we, we also prior ourselves in getting a product to people you know, in a timely manner. You know, we have a huge delivery area. Uh, and uh, with corporate catering, and then, uh, what, if, what do you need a cheese pizza at two in the afternoon for your kids, or if you need a big uh, spread for a big event at your office that you can accommodate? Oh, awesome. So, what, um, what has been the biggest group that you've accommodated? Uh, we did uh, a rehearsal dinner which looked like a wedding uh, reception at over 100 people wow. um, between the patio and our, and our large party room. And it was, it was crowded, yeah, but um, it was a great time. They stayed for about uh, three and a half hours. I'm sure they were pretty tired for the wedding. <laughs> but um, it was a great time, and the family still comes in the day, and awesome. we always talk about it. But it was a wonderful night. I, I, that happened in our first year, being open, and uh, it's great to see when they walk in. And, you know, That's awesome. They're, they're, they're part of our history as much as we're part of their family's history. That's awesome. Well. So you can see the couple now, a married couple. Now with a child. And That's so crazy. That's, That's kind of beautiful. Awesome. Being able to come in and see that, be able, essentially because it happened in the first year, be able to see that, that trend and as the years go by, be able to see that develop. It's like, yeah, really quite awesome. It's so beautiful. Awesome. Any, so any final words, any final um, 
news items that you'd like to share with our viewers for the upcoming months? Uh, we're excited to be back in Wrigley Field this year. It's going to be a, a great time. Baseball. Uh, baseball is starting back up, warm weather. Uh, we're also looking forward uh, to do more events like the beer tasting at our other locations. Introducing um, more community products that will be produce from the community. Bringing, uh, trying to introduce things our neighbors, uh, whether it be products that we offer or uh, things we can provide for them. It's exciting times here, guys. And we're excited for you guys. I mean, the pizza's amazing, good company, good people. Hey, you can't ask for something better. Very good restaurant style, Chicago Touch. It's been a pleasure, Ryan. Thank, Thank you for joining so us today. Once again, you heard it here first. Prestige Development PDF Online Print Magazine. Cody Zavala here, creative director of such magazine. And we have Ryan. Thank you so much for joining us once again, so stay tuned for future developments.